Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. Let's start today's remote learning with Do Now. So, this is the negative five meters, five meters, and let's say this is eight meters, and the time is eight seconds. How many cycle? How many seconds, Professor? Okay, it's eight seconds. Eight seconds. Oh, I is see. that a sine wave? Um. Oh, this guy not sine. Wow. Yeah, kind of press. Me too. Well, like cheating, he does have a background in geometry, but in physics, he is cuckoo. I, <laughs> I know. Our professor never had a sister. <laughs> <laughs> is that sarcastic? Uh, I I I'm learning French, Professor. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be finding the amplitude, the wavelength, the frequency, and the period. Any questions? Uh, you want me to just try to sound it, Professor? Can I try? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I should try fast. Do you want to try I fast? I want to yeah. see okay. what a ridiculous thing. Oh, but I don't want to put it in. So, amplitude. Amplitude uh, is uh, one and two. Is this a lambda? Lambda. Uh, lambda is. You mean wavelength? Oh, wavelength. wavelength. Eight meter frequency, one, two, three, four, five hertz. And what is this period? Yeah. Period is one over five. Uh, second. Ooh, you got your equation based on. So the amplitude oh, can I you got. Oh, oh okay. Right. Okay. Amplitude is how big it is. Easy. Five minus minus five. Ten meters. Down. Uh, ooh, this is a wavelength. Wavelength is gonna be the size. Easy. Eight meters. Okay. So you agree with him on that one? Maybe, maybe. I think professor was yeah. right. Uh, uh, that my wavelength symbol is bad. I think his wavelength symbol was good. And oh. fine. Thank you, Professor. It doesn't matter how you write Greek letters. It only matters how much effort you put in. What else do we have? Frequency. Um, frequency is, is going to be 8 seconds. Okay. This is terrible. And he didn't even input the right unit. Uh, it's okay. That's the right unit, okay? No, and that isn't. Period is going to be the same as frequency because this is a symmetrical sine function. This <laughs> He's in physics class. You uh, are different. Different. all wrong. I think he memorized it last night. You huh? are all wrong. And he, Alex, you only mixed up a bit of the equation. Oh, thank you, Professor. I mean, you know, I was under pressure. It's fine. At least I tried. No, you didn't. Look like you put no effort at all. <laughs> the college students here are going cuckoo because of you. They don't know why they're watching this class anymore. So, the amplitude is how tall it is. Oh, oh isn't that what trunk. I said? Okay. No. How tall the crest and the trough. Oh, oh, either has to be equilibrium to crest or equilibrium to trough? Yeah. Oh, so either, either 5 or absolute value of negative 5, right? Yeah. Okay. So, amplitude is actually 5. The two is the cycles because oh. a cycle is a, a cycle, is a crest then a trough. So a cycle is basically how many crests and troughs. Yeah. There. So um, and the frequency is actually one over the period. So you need to find the period first. The period is actually um, the, hmm, 
what is it? Um, I believe it's the time over the uh, cycle. Uh, yeah, second. Yeah, that's right. Time over cycle. That's right. So. But yeah, that's why right. Is, why is this garbage? Oh. <laughs> what is the garbage your buddy got? He is not one over at. It is, but you don't uh, know as without no key. Oh, bro, so, so I got a copy. Can you uh, check my work? Oh, God. I wrote the formulas for all, all four of the... Oh, God. Oh, my. Thank you for recognizing my effort. You didn't put any effort. You literally copied. Okay. T over C. Uh, T over C. Cy C equals cycles. There's two uh, cycles. And time was eight seconds. So the time was four, and the frequency was one over four, which is equal to zero point two five. It just got the time mixed, uh, the period mixed up. Okay. And so the and the lambda, I believe, is distance over cycle. Distance per cycle, eight over two. Oh wait, um, I forgot. Uh, put the units. Sorry for that. So, uh, cycle per second. Yeah, and four then seconds. Seconds. Per cycle. Per cycle, yeah. SPC. So, um, that's four meters, and A is five. This is. Yeah, that's our do now for today. Thank you, Officer. Uh, keep this in mind, as you might need this for the upcoming lesson. That piece of the lesson? Yeah, the subsequent lessons to this one. Yeah. Speaking of subsequent lessons, the lesson is right now. So, um, for our lessons, mm -hmm. we're just going to be solving a simple problem. So, we still um, are focusing a bit on centrifugal acceleration, or centripetal, as some people call it. Centripetal acceleration, yes, yeah, Professor B. Can you, you write it big, it. Professor? You have lots of space. We are still focusing on this guy. But where's the circle? I don't see any circle. Well, it's spinning around. Oh. There's circle. Also, are you blind? This ball is literally a circle. Okay, Bronson. Anyway, um, I think I might have to move this equation out of the way. I draw the full circle. And the circle has a radius of 0 0.6 meters. Uh, professor, uh, what are you talking about? I don't understand, Professor. What are you oh, talking okay. about? Uh, what are you talking about? What do you mean, circles? Can you please me. demonstrate what do you mean by circle? Conveniently have this thing on me. Oh. So. What is this, Professor? Oh, uh, just uh. Oh. And how this has to do with what you draw in the ball? No, Thank you. It's spinning in a circle, oh. and there's an object on mm. the alligator. But one. you gotta be kidding me, Professor. That one is not spinning on the board one. Yeah. That's because you can't make animating live stuff. On the board. But this one is spinning. I know, but this one is not just, uh, it is spinning, you just can't draw a spinning thing. This isn't an animation board, this is a whiteboard, a still board. I still cannot visualize how this one and that one are the same. Can you do it one more time? Huh. I, I'm still not getting it. Maybe a little bit too big. Probably. But that one has radius R. This one has no radius. This does have a radius. The radius is, ha uh, th this is the radius. How far I'm pinching it. So like from here, from here, the end of the wire, to here, the beginning of the wire. This means, uh, you mean this one is radius? Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, how can I conceptualize? It's too tricky. Okay. Because I'm going to my work. 
Okay, baby. This isn't even a word. Yeah, well, that's so right. Did you just disrespect your professor by calling him a, a baby? Did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. So. No. Yeah, because. Disrespecting your professor. Because I have a child like you raised. Somehow, I, by mistake, I call you baby. Sorry, professor. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, professor. Shut up. He doesn't care, he thank you. <laughs> oh my god! Anyways, um, this has... You know, uh, today I saw the Bloom taxonomy, and I I, I thought I would, uh, 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 Alan, uh, what's his name, Albert? Because, you know, he is like on the bottom of the Bloom taxonomy. But I'm proud of it. He memorized. Oh my god! Let's say, um, it makes two, uh, What do you, what do you have to find? Cycles, oh wait. Okay, what are we solving for, Professor? Okay, find and triple X over here. I decided oh. this would be frequency because uh, it goes two um, revolutions per second. That is one very fast ball. Uh, okay, but if it, if it does two, then it has to be halves, right? Wait, but second, the old unit Wait. The oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. To find centripetal acceleration, we need velocity, right? Uh, yeah. So, uh, we, you didn't give us velocity. You have to find it. Oh. Uh, dummy is d over t, oh, 2 pi r. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. It's 2 pi r, dummy. Frequency. So, yeah. It's mm -hmm. 2 pi r. Oh, no, can you, can you show him? Is B S is square B square? So uh, with D over T. Yeah. D is it's two the pi R. Over the second. But we don't have T. We don't have T. Yeah, it's one second here. Cycles per second. Single. Oh. Two pi R um two pi R uh, over okay. Two pi r meters over one second. Can I understand it? So the frequency is two cycles per second, right? Yeah. So every second there are two cycles being completed. Two cycles right? means like revolution. So two revolutions. Okay. So can I understand this? In one second there's two cycles. So then in half a second there would be one cycle. Yes. So that's the denominator should be half, not one, right? No, because it's half. Oh. Well, okay then. Because we're using the period, not the frequency for the denominator. Well, uh, yeah, okay. So that would actually be 4 pi r meters per second. Oh, but uh, can we plug in the number? Um, yeah. Okay. So that's actually 2.4 pi. You don't have to plug in any number. Oh, I got, I got the uh, answer. Can I but what is pi? Pi? Oh. Oh, I thought pie, yeah. I thought pie is pizza. What? Pizza pie? That doesn't even exist! You yeah. don't even know what the food pie is? I eat some pie. God, Thank you. that's America! Anyways, um... Um... 2.4 pie what? Oh, uh, we have to find acceleration, right? Meter per second squared. Yeah. Meter? No, meter yeah. per second. It's velocity. Ooh. Yeah. This guy doesn't think. Oh, V squared over R. I remember you showed us yesterday, right? You know. You proved it. Of course I remember it. You think I remember? You should know all of this by heart. Okay. He, 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 he is in under the, underneath the book, book taxonomy in 2020. And for, and I'm telling you, in you 2030, in 2030, he's going to be still at the same place. Probably lower, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so... The R is your... 0.6. 0.6, baby. Meter. Oh, I'm sorry, Professor. Um, you don't have to say the unit until you get there. Okay, so I'm, I'm telling you... Oh, um, I, I put it in the calculator. 2.4 times 3.4. Wait, no, it's 56.75, I think? Uh, no. 56.85. That's, uh, uh... I put it in the calculator, I get 95. No, uh, no, that's your actual answer, dummy. Oh, oh, I think.
told you one of the guys one. Jesus. It's getting it down there. I was asking for 2.4 pi or square. I, I think you memorized the, uh, the answer from homework. Yeah. No! You cheated on the homework and you memorized the answer. What is wrong with you? What can I say? And I didn't even hear any uh, buttons. So you, your hypothesis is affirmative. Thank you, very. Oh, thank you, Professor. Oh, keep going. Yeah, Professor, can I go home now? No, I just sleep, right? Mm, yes, there is an exit slipper. Okay. It will help you in the subsequent lesson as well. Yeah, okay, Professor. And, some, and that lesson is tomorrow, right? Yeah. I don't even know what subsequent means. I didn't even search that could be a long paragraph on Google. I did click. Oh, yeah. So our exit slip for today is, if you didn't know, um, the moon rotation around the Earth takes 27.3 days to complete. You want me to try, Professor? Days into seconds. You want me to try? Okay. Why was she in time? So, 273. 3 times 3600. That's it, Professor. Okay. So, enter that in your calculator. What do I have to find it in? Oh, I don't even know. Period. The days you have to convert days you to second. It, right? Days to second, yeah. Oh, days to second. Okay, no, this is very easy. Um, okay. One day is gonna be uh, thirty six hundred seconds uh, per minute uh, oh. times five point six light years is gonna give us four point six hertz. What okay. am I saying? My eyes are broken. Uh, That's not good. You have to convert day to hour first, oh. and then hour to second. That's it. Oh, day to hour is actually twenty-four. Oh, so oh, he made the same mistake as me, Professor. No, you have to write the five point six minor nonsense. No. And you didn't even use the right unit, and I bet you remember that answer from your calculator. Yeah, it's yeah. probably a potato anyway. So I believe um. Can someone take the calculator? Uh, calculator is okay. right here. Please tell me what I need to calculate. Um, 27.3 times 24 times 3600. Alright, 27.3 times? 24. 24 times? 3600. Okay, are you ready for the answer? Yeah. 2 million. 358,720 hertz. Not hearts, it's supposed to be second. Oh. Yeah. Isn't hearts and seconds the same thing? No! Hearts is it's one over second. Cycle. Oh, second. One over second. One over second. Freaking game, cycle perfection. Uh, anyways, um, I believe that uh, thank all you. for today. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Thank you for thank being you. with me. Uh, bye, bye, everybody. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.